Hey guys, I'm here today to show you how I've made this magnetic stir hot plate. Now, if you haven't seen my video on how I made that magnetic stir, I'd recommend watching that one quickly to get an idea of how the mechanics work. What I've got here is a very similar thing to that magnetic stir, in that we've got the PC fan underneath with the magnets on top, but what I've done here is I've actually cut the corners of that PC fan off just so I can have it fit snugly in the bottom here. And that's a 120 millimeter fan. In the middle here, I've got a paper clip glued in centered, as always, with one of the wings of the paper clip just bent out and soldered in, also centered, to um, raise the magnets up and below the surface of my hot plate so they can get a good grip on my stir bar. I've super glued my magnets in just to give them a good base, and here's our hot plate. Now what I've done here is I took a kettle, very similar to this one here, and took off all the screws and removed all the plastic from the sides and the bottom, and took off all the components that are in there. So I'm left with just the element, and I left the LED in there as well, just so I know when it's heating. After I did that, I used my Dremel, and using a cutting bit, I went all the way around the edge and cut a wall maybe about an inch and a half high, just so I can have some sort of a fluid in there when I'm heating, whether it be mineral oil or water, so the heat has somewhere to go. Because otherwise, we might end up damaging the metal or the element, which is not a desirable outcome. Actually, what I have here is a little voltage for the base, which I took out and left me with a great hole in the bottom there for my magnet to fit through. And carefully just sliding that in, and then gluing the base and the hot plate together, we have a perfect magnetic stir hot plate. Now for the variable control, what I've done is I have this digital voltage um, controller and that's just for the L heating element and that's just to control the um, power going to that and how hot that gets. Here I've got a variable voltage adapter which powers my fan and allows me to control the speed that my fan spins at. And here I've got my main power lead. This is coming directly off the main power lead and that's because I don't want my um, element control to actually control the speed of my fan as well. So I left that out. Now these are all going to be different depending on uh, which one you order and where you get it from. So you're going to have to look at the wiring diagram for yours specifically, but for mine the live wires go into the outside. And I've got this digital thermo controller here which goes from 0 to 100% throughput. And um, that controls the resistance that is given by this, and therefore the amount of power going to my element. Okay. So here we've got a beaker. I mean, you could use anything. You don't have to use a beaker necessarily. We'll just fill that up with some water, which is actually already heated a little bit because I've done quite a few takes just to get it perfect for you guys. And a nice temperature probe to tell us how hot our fluid is. Sorry, this is a little bit fidgety. Perfect, great, okay. So let's just plug that in and see how it works. Right, so we're at about 20% throughput right now and let's just take our fan speed down a bit we can take it all the way down to 3 volts it spins very slowly or all the way up to 12 volts but we'll leave it at 9 for now here our element is heating up slowly but we'll take it up to 50% throughput just to see how much faster it heats up. 
I won't take it all the way up to 100% because I don't want my water to start boiling with all these electrical elements around. I'm going to make it pretty later. So at 50%, you can see it heats up quite a lot faster. We'll leave it at 20 for now. And that's us, guys. That's our magnetic stir hot plate with variable temperature and speed control. For my next project, I'll be doing a ball mill. Um, and for this next video coming up, I think I'm going to be videoing the process of making it as well, so it's easier to follow and understand how I've done that. And as always, like, subscribe, and comment, and have a fun project, guys.